click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today we are going to study a new problem that is problem number 2 which is based on minimum phase, maximum phase and mixed phase system. Determine whether the following system is minimum, maximum or mixed phase system. The question title will remain same. Only the function will change. Here the function is given h of z equals to 1 minus z inverse minus 6z raised to minus 2. Now you should know the definition of minimum phase, maximum phase and mixed phase system. Then you are able to solve this question. So first of all we will see the solution. So solution here h of z is given 1 minus z inverse minus 6z raised to minus 2. Now as I said first of all we will calculate the factors but before of that you have a two choice you can convert this whole equation into positive power of z or else keep it as it is and then calculate the factors so easiest way for your side you can convert it into a positive power of z and if don't you can keep it as it is now I'll convert both the equations into positive power of z so what you will get I'll multiply numerator and denominator by z square Here we have multiplied numerator and denominator by z square. So I have got z square in denominator. And here z square into 1 is z square. z square into z to the power minus 1. If the bases are same, then powers always get added. So 2 minus 1 is 1. That's why I have written z only. And the last z square into z to the power minus 2. Again, we'll do the same thing. If the bases are same, then powers always get added. So 2 minus 2 becomes 0. And anything raised to 0 is always 1. So that's why we have written only 6. Now we will find out the factors. Now tell me, what are the factors you can say? As I said, the last term is always product of two digits, whereas mid term is always addition of two digits. So suppose if I said my terms are 3 and 2, then the product is always 6. But I'll consider my 3 is having a minus sign, that is minus 3 and 2 is the factors. Minus 3 into 2 is minus 6 and minus 3 plus 2 answer is minus 1, which means my factors are correct. We will calculate the location of zeros. We will calculate the location of zeros. How to find out the location? Just equate each and every factor with respect to zero. First of all, how many zeros we have? We have a two zeros. And if I compare each and every factors with respect to zero, then what we will get? The first one is 3 and my next one is minus 2. Now these are the radius circle. This 3 is nothing but we have a circle which is having a radius 3. This is the minus 2 which means we never take a minus 2 radius and while calculating the calculations in z transform we always use mod z. So this will be replaced by plus 2. Now so what we can say that we have a two radius circle the first radius is 3 second radius is 2 now from this i can say that both the zeros are lying outside the unit circle and this both the zeros or you can say the both the radius are lying outside the unity circle which means this h of z is a maximum phase system So by definition, I can say that H of Z is a maximum phase system. Now similarly, we will solve the numerical for mixed phase system. So what will be the question and how to find out solution? I will tell you in next video. But for that, stay tuned to EKDA and subscribe to EKDA for further more videos. Thank you so much.